we are going to play a philosophical game. And in the beginning, I am giving you 100 marks. And then I will be asking you questions. And depending on your response, I will cut marks from this 100. So, in the beginning, I am giving you 100 marks. Now, first of all, the positive news regarding the coronavirus is that uh, an effective treatment is on its way. Some of the countries like South Korea, China, they have even used uh, a modification of uh, a medicine. Its name is something like quinine, which was uh, which was earlier used for malaria, is now being used for coron treating corona infection uh, with certain modifications. So that is the good news but the bad news is that uh, we are facing a lockdown. It's a 24-7 curfew. And I am also stuck in this room away from home so this is bad news I am stuck I have got nothing to do I don't have uh, my books with me which I could have otherwise otherwise read So, Yeah, so uh, it's a curfew and we are not allowed to even go outside our houses. I am locked down, I am stuck. I am stuck in this room. So, so all I have been doing is just lying down on this bed and just uh, letting the stream of consciousness, letting the stream of consciousness uh, just flow uh, through my mind, through my awareness and different questions keep coming to my mind and uh, I have been I have been thinking about those questions and that is what is a philosophical game it's a rather boring activity which uh, most people may find despicable but people like me like to engage in such philosophical games and such uh, thinking activities so so I was uh, I was uh, going through some questions and uh, I thought it would be interesting to 
discuss these questions and you have to answer you have to find answer for yourself but let me pose the questions to you and let us see what responses what answers come to your mind so suppose and this is not what we wish but suppose sometimes we can uh, create hypothetical situation we can, we can imagine so suppose we are infected by coronavirus which is effectively treatable but nonetheless we are considering considering extreme situations extreme circumstances suppose this is the end of the world or at least end of our lives in that case in that case in that case if we are to die of coronavirus then we may want to consider some questions if we are to die of coronavirus or any disease very soon what lessons would like to give to the future generations because we have lived our lives a consider a considerable amount a considerable uh, period of time so we have had so many experiences but which one of those experiences you think or i think are of such importance that uh, they must be shared with other people especially the younger generation so that they can learn lessons from our mistakes our uh, our experiences so that is one question what lessons what experiences what lessons what events do you think have been important in your life next is sometimes it's it's good to take a pause and here we un, uh, involuntarily are in such situation where we can we are we are our lives are have been put on a break so we may we may we may have a chance to evaluate our life so far so this is what you can do like uh, the good things that i have done or you have done the bad things we have done and uh, in our personal or in our relationships or uh, in other aspects of our lives and this may give us an idea of uh, how our life has been how our lives have been and how our lives could have been another question can be in next life if if we are to die if you are to die now in next life what kind of parents would you like to have what kind of lover would you like to have your boyfriend or your girlfriend will it be the same that you have in present life or would it be someone else who is an either a real person you wish to you could have been with or an imagination it could be an imagination religion see religion is very interesting thing because we the world has been fighting indulging in religious wars violence and so many conflicts so it is very critical and crucial uh, it is it has been an integral part of our society and yet we don't get to choose our religion we are born in a religion but we don't choose a religion that's a very absurd situation 
So, what religion would you like to born into in your next life? Will it be the same religion? Or do you think that whatever religion you are you are born into is not really as good and probably some other religion you would like to try some other religion or it may happen that you reject all the religions that we have in this world and you may aspire to form a new religion make a new religion in your next life or it may even happen so that you may want to become an atheist so that's one question that uh, you might want to ponder about what kind of life would you like to live what kind of values would you like to have in your next life and through these questions what i'm trying to tell you is that this corona virus uh, thing that we are going through the world is going through a reset mode it's a transition phase and from this transition phase we will enter into a new era a new world it's definitely going to reset a lot of things effectively everything the economic uh, the economic uh, order the politics uh, whether you consider local level politics uh, national level or globalization these things the culture the religion we we are going to reorganize in many ways so it's uh, is something more than what we are able to see and we are going through this transition phase and it is always helpful to have a rough idea at least a rough draft uh, some some kind of imagination for the world we are going to make we are going to enter because it's not just lying out there we are going to build this world we are going to create this reality and we are participants whether we realize or not whether we contribute more or less whether we contribute by uh, inaction but we are participants so in that regard it may be useful to consider these questions and even other questions that may come to your mind and this set of question was about the short term perspective short term perspective that we are going to die and so we are more what we can do is just think about these uh, uh, these questions and have a, a recap of our life reassessment and to project uh, towards uh, project towards a future the next life but what if we are not going to die that this problem will be overcome the corona problem and we are going to live longer in that case my question is what if we are going to live another 10 years and after 10 years there is going to be another outbreak of such a deadly virus like corona virus or any other pandemic uh, uh, any other outbreak that is going to be as lethal as this one after 10 years so my question is uh, so my question is what our paths would be or what our trajectories or what choice what our trajectories will be what our paths should be what uh, what choices should we make so we are imagining 
that suppose we survive this corona problem this time but after 10 years there is there is going to be some same virus or some other virus again uh, haunting the world in that case how we should prepare ourselves uh, in this uh, 10 years time period what path should we take on one hand there is a path towards real development real uh, infrastructure development, real investment in health sector, education sector, uh, basic infrastructural needs and all those things. Real development uh, in the sense of, in the sense that it is also an inclusive development which uh, considers the also the last person and the marginalized person marginalized uh, communities, marginalized people and empowers them. The path of real development which talks about peace, harmony, love, kindness and on the other hand, if we, are, we have these two alternatives, on the other hand, we have a path of uh, Egotism, chauvinism, jingoism, aggressive nationalism, communalism especially where we as a society are wasting our energies and resources and time into these unreasonable artificial conflicts. So what should be the discourse, what should be the path for these next 10 years if we are to face the same uh, similar outbreak after 10 years. The real de development of inclusiveness, of uh, peace, love, kindness, harmony, charity, rights, etc. Or the one with communalism, nas aggressive nationalism, chauvinism, etc. etc. These are going to be important questions because, uh, because we can also look back in the history that we have had, we have had both of these streams in the past, especially in past years. Uh, it seems that uh, our society has has been has increasingly been radicalized radicalized or communalized and uh, we have to think uh, whether it is useful for us or it is also a form of virus we may we may overcome the coronavirus but what about the virus of this this virus of communalism in any case now that we have played this philosophical game, it's time that I announce the result. And the final, my verdict is, my final verdict is, I am giving you two marks. And that too only the as grace marks. Because you did not answer any of my questions. But in any case, now that you know the questions, whenever you have free time, you can think about these questions and play this philosophical game.